long-term disability insurance claims. When you pay for your insurance company's mistakes. Hi, I'm Mark Whitehead, a board-certified disability attorney and author of the disability help book, Disability Insurance Policies, How to Unravel the Mystery and Prove Your Claim. The point of an insurance policy is that it pools and therefore dilutes the risk of having something bad happen. For policyholders, this means that you pay into a plan slowly over time so that you won't be financially ruined if you suffer from a serious medical problem at some point in the future. If you have a problem, all you have to do is file a disability claim and the insurance company will pay. Well, maybe not. Now, of course, insurers are only able to cover the cost of these calamities because they have a large pool of people paying regularly. So it sort of makes sense that insurers would need to raise rates when more people make claims and collect benefits. The insurance company's job is to maintain enough funds so that no one's coverage is ever in jeopardy. But what happens when the insurance company gets themselves into this problem due to their own overzealous actions and lack of foresight? Should policyholders still have to pay for these mistakes? You might not have an option one way or another. We know how banks overextended themselves and made poor decisions during the recent mortgage crisis. But what's less well known is that the insurers did the same thing several decades ago. In an attempt to add new lines of revenue and bolster their existing client base, companies in the 1980s decided to create a new form of insurance, own occupation disability insurance. It's very much what it sounds like. These policies said that if people were ever unable to perform their own occupation in the future, the policy would pay out. How specific were these types of disability policies? Very specific. For example, a brain surgeon might find he's unable to continue operating, but still start a practice as a general physician and reap the rewards of his policy. Insurers didn't mind because they were earning incredible amounts of money from the high interest rates at the time. But when those interest rates fell and more people came to collect, they found they'd made a huge mistake. They were paying out more than they were making. What was their solution? Change the internal claims process so that they were able to deny benefits to more and more people and terminate some policies. This way, they could collect money from the people and then cut them off without having to pay out anything. We'll get into the methods that they use to do that on the next blog post. For more information on this topic, check out my free ebook, Disability Insurance Policies, How to Unravel the Mystery and Prove Your Claim. Visit www.disabilitydenials.com for a free downloadable copy or call 1-800-562-9830 to discuss your particular disability issue. I'm Mark Whitehead. Thanks for watching.